There you go, my friend. All ready for Halloween. I didn't realize college was gonna be such a drag. Liz, it took you two months to figure that out. You're a freshman. Give it a little bit more time. I don't like the way Mr. Bockhard looks at you in biology class, Trix. I really think he wants you. Who says I don't want him? Who says he hasn't already had you? Who says more than once? How do you think I keep on passing? <laughs> oh, yuck. What, see your reflection? No, this house. What about it? Phoebe Harold lives there. The quiet janitor on campus? He's harmless enough. No, he's weird. Really weird. So are you. What's the harm? Uh, I hear he catches and kills animals that he traps in his backyard, and then he stuffs them. He lives all alone in that house with the corpse of his dead mother. Don't believe everything you hear. No, it's true, I swear. I've spoken to him a few times. He's okay. Certainly no Prince Charming, but you could do worse. Oh gee, thanks. Maybe I'll go on a date with Frankenstein. <laughs> no, too classy for you. Let's go. It's getting late and we got some serious studying to do. Do you have any idea what I can use for a Halloween costume? Mm, how about a bag over your head?
Sure got creepy how good this time, didn't we guys? That'll be a Halloween prank he won't soon forget. <laughs> no, stop, don't! The Scarecrow's my friend! What a loser! All hail the Halloween gang! Matt! JJ! Nick! <laughs> now what do we do? Hey, tomorrow's Halloween night. Let's have a party. Yeah, a Halloween party. My parents are away for a few days. As long as we clean up afterwards, they'll never know the difference. Great man, the wildest, craziest bash ever assembled under one roof. This will blow the others away. Great, we got a lot of shit to do. Let's get started. We gotta buy booze, invite chicks, get costumes, get laid, get drunk, get laid. I've got a handle on a few sorority girls. They love to party. And how about the Alpha Beta guys? They can get us all the booze we want. No way, they'll bring the booze, but they'll leave with all the women. Yeah, he's right, man. We'll buy our own booze. My wallet's missing. It looks like I'm buying the booze. Come on, let's make some calls and tell everybody about this party. There goes a quiet night.
Now, my friend, let's see if all these years of toil bear fruit. The evil winds in this ancient ocean breathe life into your hollow shell. near and we have much work to do.
Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hello? Is Trix there? Hi, Liz. Why didn't you say anything when you picked up? I just got a weird call. A heavy breather. Probably a telemarketer. Most of them can't speak English anyway. You're probably right. Maybe it was a Halloween prank, too. Speaking of Halloween, I got a call from Nick and he's having a party at his house tonight. And he wants us to go. No. That means Matt's gonna be there and I don't have to deal with him. Please, do it for me. Why? Because you're my friend. You're my best friend. And besides, Nick is kinda cute. You're so lame. I'll take that as a yes. I'll be over later this afternoon to come pick you up and don't forget we have to pick out costumes still. Yeah, sure. But if Matt starts up while we're there, you're bringing me home. Okay, deal. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Girl, you're letting all this Halloween junk go to your head. Sorry. Hey, you're Harold, right? Yes, I am. What are you doing tonight? Probably digging someone up. <clears throat> Nick is having a party at his house. Why don't you stop by? Sure, if he doesn't mind. It's cool. Oh, and you have to wear a costume. Okay. Can I bring a friend? Do you have any? Liz, zip it. Bring whomever you want. It'll be fun. You like to have fun, right? Yeah, who does? Okay, all right, hope to see you there. Nick is gonna be pissed when he finds out. We'll be in a costume, no one will ever know.
get this place. I heard it was haunted. Lots of other houses. Let's get them. Bunch of sissies. Come on. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Hey man, this is awesome. By the way, did you know there's a goat in your bathroom? No way. Yes way. I wonder who put it up there. Who cares? As long as it doesn't need the towels. <laughs> no, I was never really fond of Halloween. No? Did it scare you when you were a kid? Well, we were trick-or-treating when I was little and I got separated from my sister. Three hours to find it. Really? That's too bad. Oh. Wow, this party's in full swing. Are you sure you want to do this? It doesn't really look like much fun. Is this about Matt again? Look, you broke up with him two months ago. I'm sure he's over it by now. It's not that, it's just... You go trick or treating instead. That's for kids. Come on. Yeah. Babe alerted the front door. Hey, that's Trixie. This could turn out to be a good night after all. She dumped you, pal. Face it. Tonight, she's looking for some new hardware. Yeah, well, maybe she'll have to settle for a well-used drill bit. Dream on. Hello, ladies. Nice costumes. Great party, Matt. Tricks? Or treat? Neither. Let's mingle. See you. Down. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I'm sure he'll be hunting me all night long. Not if you latch on to someone else in the meantime. Maybe Crazy Harold will show up. He'll have a dancing partner. Madame, would you care to dance? Why, of course. See you later. Behave. Thanks for abandoning me, best friend. What's up with Matt? Yeah, his ex showed up, dumped him first thing. What a baby, he's supposed to be the mature one. <laughs> Go figure. You know who our chosen ones are.
Matt, I didn't come here to make up with you. I came here with Liz to have a good time. You won't even give me a chance. I've already given you two chances, but you still seem hell-bent on cheating on me over and over again. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm really sorry. You certainly are. Excuse me, I think I see someone I know. Who the heck could that be? Harold, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay under there? You're not suffocating, are you? I'm okay. Do you want a drink? Is there any punch? I think we can find something. Still mad about tricks? Screw her. You wish. No freaking way. Creepy Harold. Don't tell me she's banging him. Hey, can it, asshole? Sorry. Who the hell invited him anyway? Nobody. He's crashing the party. What's up, guys? Look over there. Creepy Harold's expanding his horizons. So what? I got a date tonight. Your worries, not mine. Yeah, thanks, traitor. Would you figure? Creepy Harold's dressed like a scarecrow? Hey, Matt, you want to teach him another lesson tonight? Not yet. But he'll get his later on. Don't worry. Watch it, asshole. Harold. You lay one finger on Trixie, and you'll wish you were never born. Okay, weirdo. I did. You're dead meat. No. Oh. Oh, all right, man. All right, it's cool. Go have a drink or something. No. Freaking weirdo! You know, it's really cool that your parents let you have this party. My parents would never allow such a thing. Are you kidding? They have no idea about this party. They'd kill me if they ever found out. So they're not around, huh? No, they're gone for about a week. Well then, who's going to tuck you in tonight? I tell you what, how about you get us a couple of drinks and then you can show me your room. Great Caesar's ghost! Hold on. That was fast. Let's go. I'm in shit. 
Oh. <laughs> I can do this. How's your drink? Fine, thank you. I'm really surprised you showed up tonight. So am I. No one here likes me. That's not true, Harold. It is. The only friends I have are the ones I created out of latex and paint. I'm your friend, Harold. You just feel sorry for me, but your kindness is appreciated. Your boyfriend, Matt? Ex-boyfriend. He's not a nice person. You noticed, huh? It may not be my place to say this, but you deserve to be treated better, much better. You deserve to be treated like a princess. That is so sweet. No one has ever said anything to me like that before. Remember, Trix. The greatest gift you can give to someone is that of yourself. But never let anyone ever take away who you truly are. What is it? What's wrong? Please leave. You're in grave danger. Leave and never come back. Harold, where are you going? Great. Now who am I going to talk to? This party has crashed and burned. What do you say we rent some horror flicks from the online video store? Horror flicks? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, it's Halloween. I'll get a Christmas one. Wise guy. We'll get some old school horror. Teen slasher movies, werewolves, maybe some British films with Dracula. You can still find movies like that on a video shelf. Well, you gotta look. Usually under the mega budget stuff and all the remakes. You know what? I remember watching movies like that Saturday nights until 3 o'clock in the morning with my kid brother. Those are the days. Yeah. 
and you ain't mine. You know what? I almost wonder if they'll have some of those Italian Hercules movies. I don't want to have to ask the clerk why. Because <laughs> those movies are awesome. Oily muscle men and togas? Uh. Hey, come on, man. You know it's not like that. Looks like Matt's ready to call tonight. Are you kidding? He's just getting his second wind. Anyone see Liz anywhere? She went upstairs with Nick a long time ago. Great. Now how am I going to get home? Well, we're going to go to the video store in a few minutes. We can take you along if you want. Sure, thanks. I doubt Liz will be leaving anytime soon. <laughs> Some drunk must have hit electric pole. I'll call the electric company. The phone's dead too. That's odd. Anyone have a cell phone? Oh, no, mine's charging over up on the counter. I might have enough juice left for one call. Dead as a doornail. What the hell was that? You know, you creeped me out. Dude, it looked like it was a scarecrow. It's probably Harold. You creepy Harold. Why doesn't he just go home? The party's over. Hey, Trixie. Matt has a cell phone in his pocket. You can reach for it, I'm not. Oh, me either. We'll just have to wait for the electric company to do their job. Party's over. So come on, just get out of the way here and I can get going. Where's your shower? The first door on the right. Just watch the hot water nozzle's broken. You scald yourself. Mm. Looks like the power went out. Do you have any candles in your bathroom? Yeah, my mom leaves some in there for when my dad takes his morning dump. Uh, okay. Care to join me? Wash my back? No, not really. <laughs> Jerk. But I will wash your front. I'll be in a little bit. Okay. Don't take too long though. I'll start without you. Finally some peace and quiet. What are you doing? I'm gonna go downstairs, check out the breakers. Maybe one of them got tripped by all the DJ equipment. Well, don't fall. I'll be right back.
in him tonight. Girl, you are H O T hot. Damn! Oh, this was not kidding that that was hot. things you don't understand. Beware the scarecrow tonight. Yeah, that's real funny. Creepy Harold! got me a little scared, but you know what, if I were you, I'd get the hell out of here. Because Matt's upstairs, he's looking to put the herd out on you big time. Yeah, man, I saw your stupid prank, okay? Now the joke is over, so go home. Hey man, what are you doing? Now put the axe down, Harold. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? Party's over. Everyone's gone. Must be Nick's parents didn't pay the electric bill. Hey, Trixie. You hang around just for me? Don't flatter yourself, limp dick. I'm going outside to take a look around. I'll be right back. Not. 
idiot probably fell asleep. Waste water!
why. Well, Scott, you're on these in a bunch. The vehicles! Every engine has been dismantled. We're trapped here. Well, who the hell would take apart our engines to trap us here? Is this some kind of joke? Do I look like I'm joking? Creepy Harold. It's gotta be him. What makes you say that? Well, yesterday we, um... You what? We roughed him up a little bit. Tore down his scarecrow. That's all. That's all? I don't believe this. How could you be so cruel? We were just having a little fun. We just got a little carried away. So what? So what? Do you realize what you may have done? That fucker is unhinged. Who knows what he's capable of when he's on the loose? And by the way, what was our help here? Look, everybody just cool it, alright? Alan, you go get JJ. Everything's gonna be alright. For Pete's sake. You better hope so, for everybody's sakes. Well, it's about damn time. Hey, look. This is a private party. Go downstairs and dance the night away with everybody else. Look, my girlfriend's coming back in two minutes and we're gonna have some more sex. You can't watch, so get downstairs. I said, get the hell out of here! <laughs> What's wrong? A heart. A human heart was in the basement. And JJ is nowhere to be found. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Even if we have to walk to town. Let me go get Nick and Liz. That won't be necessary. Harold, thank God you're here. We need help. I'm not here to help you. With the help of the Scarecrow, I'm here to punish you. What the heck are you babbling about, you nutcase? Matt, let him talk. Harold, tell us what's going on. Tonight is the eve of all saints. The night of Hallow. And on this night, evil Rolls the earth. Last night, I called it upon my creation, and it breathed life. Guess who he's coming after tonight? No, Harold, please make it stop. I'm sorry, Trix. But it's too late. Matt, don't hurt him. He's the only one who can help. We don't stand a chance with Harold and his killer scarecrow running around. Come on. Scarecrows just don't run around by themselves. If anybody's dead here, it's by his hands. Oh my god, let me get Nick and Liz. Back here. 
catch it. I'm going out there and I'm going to get him. Don't be stupid. Harold! Come on out of here, you fucking whack job!
told you to. I can't stop it now. Scarecrow and I are one. You sick murderer! I hate you! I hate every ounce of you! Don't say that. Don't you ever say that. <laughs> Down here, Scarecrow. The last object of your retribution. Bitch, you think you can kill the scarecrow? Leave me alone! Thank you for your showing 
creepy Harold with a little kindness.
Well, hello, Scarecrow. It was an interesting night, wasn't it? I suspect the police will be here soon, so you must rest here and be quiet as a mouse. No one will suspect you. I must hide till all this business dies down. Maybe, with any luck, they'll count me as one of the missing. We'll be planning our Halloween for next year very soon. It'll even be better than this year. And look at all the help we'll have. Oh, and by the way, Happy Halloween. I'm <laughs> sorry. 